Okay, so hello everyone, this is Akshay here and today's question name is the maximum sum increasing subsequence but before starting the question, first of all if you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe and now let us proceed with the question but there are some prerequisites or I was hoping that you were able to solve this question by yourself. Why I am saying so? Because we have covered this question in day 288, a longest increasing subsequence which is also part of my debut playlist there is a video number seven you can watch this and if you have already watched this video watch this video then definitely you would have get some insights on how to solve this question you may have been able to relate ye to same question and bas thoda sa kya karna hai kuch changes karna hai agar aap ye bhi soch paaye the if you are able to think this as well ki this is somehow related to longest increase of scene then i would say that you are on a good uh, path right path right and if you are able to implement it then इससे अच्छा कुछ हो ही नहीं सकता है यही चाहिए बस इंटरव्यू क्रैक करने के लिए ठीक है नाउ लेट इज प्रोसीड हेड विद द गिवन क्वेश्चन एंड वन होमवर्क वुड बी फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू गाइस हु हैव नॉट वॉच दिस वीडियो यू डू नॉट नो हाउ टू हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस लॉन्गेस्ट इंक्रीजिंग सब सिक्वेंस यू मस्ट गो एंड वॉच दिस वीडियो नाउ एंड देन कम टू दिस क्वेश्चन अगेन यू विल बी एबल टू मेक मच मोर सेंस एंड इफ इट इज पॉसिबल एज वेल दैट यू विल बी टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन बाई योर ओके So we have been given an n positive integers. We need to find the maximum sum subsequence such that the integers are in the strictly increasing subsequence. Okay. Okay. So, we have one, one zero six two three one hundred. So, they are considering the subsequence, which is one, two, three, and hundred. You can clearly see this is an increasing sequence, subsequence, and it is contributing to the maximum sum, and that is why one hundred six is returned. Okay. Let us go ahead on our open board now. So as I said, the prerequisite is LIS, which is a DP VD seven or day two eighty eight, right? So let me show you a quick dry run that how it is happening, and then we can proceed it with the code. So this is the given array one one zero one two three and hundred, and the indexes would be zero one two three four, right? And output is one hundred six. Let us verify that how this question or how we need to consider all the possible subsequence, and then how we can select the maximum one. So since we are forming MS. Uh, maximum sum increasing increasing subsequence that is why I have written M S I S here, right? Index zero. Well, again, the same dry run I have showed you for the L I S as well using the L I S zero, L I S one, and everything, right? If you just have a quick look in this one, let me scroll it back a bit, a little bit. Mm, yep, this one. I'm taking this. I have written L I S zero, one, two, three. Okay. Let us proceed with the this this one again. So M I S M S I S of zero. I'm I'm saying that you need to consider the zeroth index element as well as all the index present to its left and form the maximum and form the that particular increasing subsequence that has the maximum sum. Kya bol raha hu main? Please ek baar sunte. M S I S zero ke liye abhi to sirf ek hi element hai. So that is why you'll have just one element in your possible subsequences. M S I S one. मतलब we are considering which elements? We are considering the first two elements, that is one and one zero one. Now, what are all the possible subsequence formed? And you you need to take care; it should be increasing as well. And you need to take care that this element should be present in that possible subsequence. Correct? One zero one होना ही चाहिए क्योंकि M S I S one के लिए solve कर रहे हैं. तो क्या possibility हो सकती है? एक तो one zero one हो जाए. A single element is also considered as a subsequence. दूसरी possibility क्या हो सकती है? कि आप दोनों element को ले लो. One and one zero one because it is increasing, satisfied the condition. One zero one is there. Second condition also checked. Yes. So these are the possible two subsequences. What is the maximum sum of these possible two subsequences? So here is one zero two. Here is one zero one. But what is the maximum? So one zero two. I'll write it here. One zero two. Similarly for MSIS two, which are all the elements I am considering? One one zero one and two. Right. This this two should be present in your possible subsequence. Right. So what are the possibilities? You can form the element itself. You can form the one and two because two should be the part. Now there is no more possibility, right? One zero one cannot be part anyhow in this the formation of possible subsequence. What is the maximum sum? Two plus one is three. Two itself is two, so definitely the maximum is three, and three is there. M S I is three. Let again continue with the dry run. So what are the elements I am considering? One zero one two and three. You need to add uh, consider this third element, right? Not third element. The third index element, which is itself is three, right? So you need to consider that. So the possibilities would be you you form the element itself, the three. Then you can form one, two, three, and then you can also make one, one more, two, three. So this may ensure that three is there in the subsequences as well. You are following the increasing order. What is the maximum sum among all these possible subsequences? It is six, which is going, which is coming from this white uh, part of the subsequence. Okay. Now M S I S four again. You need to consider all the possible elements. What are the possibilities? The element itself is the possibility, and then what you can form. 
the maximum one would be definitely one to three hundred. So I'm just avoiding writing all the possible subsequences, right? So what is the sum? One zero six. Now I have considered all the possible subse subsequences, which are, and in the path I also ensured that it would be an increasing one, and these are the possible sum which I got from all considering all the possible subsequences from the every index. So this is the max max. This is the max of 106. This is the answer. Okay? Now, you will see that we have seen the input output. We have seen how to approach the code. We have seen how to write the question. Now, let's go to the code. Let's go to the code. Let's go to the code. So, first of all, what are we doing? We would have a for loop that is will be going from 1 to n. We would also have a MSIS array. Array, linear array. And the elements, the first of all, all the elements जो original index है उनपे original elements ही होगा, right? क्योंकि मैंने ऐसा क्यों बोल रहा हूँ मैं क्योंकि मैं क्या बोल रहा था कि एक possibility क्या हो सकती है कि element itself is a subsequence, right? जैसे MSI is four के लिए hundred was one possibility, MSI is three के लिए यहाँ पे third index में elements दिखते हैं तो this three was a possibility, right? The element itself is one of the possibility, right? That is why you need to place your one zero one two three and hundred. This is the minimum sum you will get anyhow. अब इससे ज़्यादा बन रहा है तो अच्छी बात ह तो i equals to one से iterate करना शुरू करते हैं और i equals to one पे हमारे पास क्या है one zero one one zero one now we need to iterate we need to look back for all the elements present in the left hand side for the particular index so this is nothing but i equals to one so i will start a loop for j equals to zero till j equals to i because i said we need to look for all the elements present in the left hand side why because we need an increasing subsequence right so we will check now we will have a condition now so what are the elements first of all let's write the elements so j equals to zero which is 1. So j equals to 1 will not execute. We need to go to j less than i. Okay. Is 101 greater? We are at this current element? Definitely. So that means we can form a subsequence which have the elements 1 and 101. Correct? So we are checking it here. If array of i, which is 101, is greater than your previous elements, that is 1. Definitely this will form a subsequence. Now what you need to check that your current, your current sum, is it greater than the possible subsequences we have formed just now how we can check it what is the current sum it is 1 and 1 is it greater than the possible subsequence what is the possible subsequence sum this one first of all jo pehle tha wahan pe the number itself plus humne aur kaun sa bhi number add kiya subsequence ko bada karne ke liye ye array of j to main yahan likh dunga array of i correct hmm the current element and this one ab is one ko kya hum array of i likhe yaar kya hum array of i likhe Right? This this 101 is nothing but array of i. So क्या मैं इसे array of j लिखूं? क्या मैं ऐसा array of j लिखूं? मैं बोलूँगा नहीं लिखूँ। फिर तो dp का मतलब क्या हुआ यार? हम direct लिखेंगे msis of this jth index क्योंकि इस zero पे क्या store हो रखा है? Maximum sum possible, maximum sum possible increasing subsequences उस particular index के लिए। हमें पहले से पता है उस particular index पे क्या answer आने वाला है। तो हम उस answer को use करते हैं ना यार? क्यों वापस उसे के लिए करना? That is why I am using msis of j. Instead of array of j, वही मैंने देखा यहाँ लिखा भी है m s i s of i. If it is greater than the existing sum is greater than the new sum form, then definitely update your existing sum with your new sum. And that is why this 101 would be updated to 102, right? And now for i equals to one, the iteration has been finished. We will go on for i equals to two. And if you see m s i s one, right, was pointing to 102. Similarly, for each and every iteration, we will see how the code performs, and then we can finally do the solution. So for i equals to 2, what is the current element? It is 2. It would be compared with all the elements present in the left hand side. So left hand side, the elements are 1 and 101. So it is 2. Now what I need, the increasing subsequence. Definitely this will not form a sub increasing subsequence because here the current element is not greater than. So this will not do anything. So 2 is greater than 1, definitely this will form a form a increasing subsequence. So I will check what is my current sum. My current sum is the element itself. Then I need to check the element itself plus 2 plus 1 correct so what are the uh, what is the it is 3 right so 2 would be updated to 3 again correct, correct. Hmm. so what did it, it was j equals to 0 and j equals to 1 so we did we did nothing but the current the array of i plus msis of 0 what msis of 0 was 1 so i did plus 1 and it is now update, updated to 3 3 and if you see our msis 2 was finally updating to 3 now let us assume with the next one so i equals to 3 now and what is the current element uh, what is the current element current element is 3 it would be compared with all the left elements it would be compared with j equals to 0 j equals to 1 j equals to 2 what are the elements 1 
one zero one and then two. So definitely three is uh, greater than one, but it is not greater than one and one. So this will not be executed. We will not execute. So here three again is greater than two. So for this thing and this thing, they should be executed. So what I will check my current sum. Current sum is three, which is uh, if it is lesser than my MSIS of J. Okay. So first of all, let, let's take the element itself and then MSIS of J. So J. So MSIS of zero, it itself is pointing to one. So definitely three plus one four. It would be updated to four first of all. Now I will check the existing sum is four. I will add it to the four plus plus. Hmm. So this will be executed. Why are we doing this? So again, the four is lesser than the current. It, the element itself that is three plus MSIS of Two. So what is the two pointing to? It is pointing to three. The three plus three is six, and it is definitely greater than my existing sum. So four is updated to six again, right? I hope you are with me till this point. Now there is one last iteration left. Let us do that, and then we shall see how it is done. Okay. So for i equals to four, the element is hundred, right? So it would be compared with j equals to zero, j equals to one, two, and three. The elements are one, two. Okay, one, one hundred, one, two, and three. And it is hundred, hundred, hundred. So definitely hundred one is here. So यहाँ के लिए हमें ये फिक्सिकेट नहीं होगा. So let us come this here. So my current for all these cases hundred is greater. So my current sum is nothing but hundred. I will check if it is lesser than my new sum. What is my new sum? The element itself plus MSIS of this jth index, zeroth index. So let us be one. So it would be hundred and one. So it would, the hundred would be first of all updated to hundred and one. Correct. Now again, इसके लिए if executing one and for this one, I will check my current sum is one. What is my current element? It is hundred plus what is the MSIS of index two? It is three. So I will say it would be hundred hundred and three. So it will be updated to hundred and three. Correct. Now the last iteration is again my current sum is hundred and three. If it is lesser than my new sum, so hundred and three. No, my current element hundred plus what is my MSIS of three? It is six. So let us consider six, and it would be hundred and six. Now, can you say? Can you say that when we formed hundred and six, what is the exact subsequence that we have taken in account? We are adding hundred, so we will take first of all hundred. We are getting six, but from where? From this index, and this six was getting from which elements? It was coming from one, two, and three. So definitely, our final subsequence is this one. So if the question would have been a Let's say a variation to print the subsequence, actual subsequence. We'd have done that as well, but we just have to go to the maximum sum. So that's why we are not bothered about that. Okay, we have done the all the dry runs. We have done the all the dry runs. It is matches to the first dry run we have made. And yes, let us discuss the time complexity so that we can uh, uh, go ahead with the code. Before proceeding ahead with the code, can we write our updated MSIS array? Can we write that? Or let me just minimize the screen a bit. Yep, this this looks good. Okay, so my updated array. What is my updated array? The elements are first of all. Let us name the indexes. The elements are one. Then we have one hundred two. Then we have three. Then we have six. And then we have one hundred six. Now these are all the values we have got from all the possible subsequences. Formed, which is also is increasing order. So we need to run a for loop again, or let's say we can just uh, in the nested for loop itself we can have a max variable where we can just say result is nothing but max of result comma msis of i, and at last instead of returning with a for loop we can just say return result. Right. So this one itself will be done. What is the time complexity? So this for loop will take over n. And this i would be in worst case would be going till n minus one for the last iteration, right? For i equals to n minus two, go to n minus two, right? N minus two. In going the constant would be again o of n. So the overall time complexity is n square. What is the space complexity? Space complexity is o of n because we are using a MSIS linear array. So considering the constraint, let us look back to the constraint now. Constraint here is ten power three, and we are using n square. If you do 10 power 3 whole square, it would be give you 10 power 6, which is lesser than 10 power 8, and that is why if our code and approach is right, which is our code will get submitted. Let us do that thing, and then we can resume ahead with the C++ code now. Okay, so it's done. You can see the expected and our output matches. Let us hit the submit button, and we can verify the result. Great, yeah, great. 
So, if, but if you look at this code and if you look at our longest increasing subsequence, it is exactly the same. It is exactly the same. Only changes we are doing is we are changing the if conditions, and that is it. And that is it, right? Okay, great. Mm, what else? What else? Let's just switch back to the C plus code. So this is the C plus code. I will not give you any walkthrough or dry run because it's the same we have done, and there is no syntactical changes as well instead of this max. So yep. Let us, we have got a successful submission. So that code must have been pushed into my DSL repository. So this DSL repository consists of more than 500 questions solved, the standard questions solved. So definitely you can start and fork this repository, repository to get help with the source code. And uh, what else? What else? Yeah, we are done. So let us meet again in the tomorrow's week. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Bye-bye and take care, guys.